If you drive 10 miles to return an item to a 99 cent store, <laughs> you might be Persian. You can play along. If you ask for a price check at the 99 cent store, <laughs> you might be Persian. If you get a job at the 99 cent store, so when you shop there, you get 50% discount, whereas the Persians say discount, you might be Persian. <laughs> if you haggle over the price of the stamp at the post office, you might be Persian. If your VCR is still blinking, 12, 12, 12, 12, you might be Persians because Persians do not need owner's manual. Persians can do anything without manual. If, if you are a janitor at a 10-story building that you own, you might be Persian. If the biggest dilemma on your mind is pork half price on sale, you might be a Jewish or a Muslim Persian. If you get excited about a sale that says boys pants half off, you might be Michael Jackson. If you get horny by looking at a woman's ankle and you go, mm -mm -mm, what a nice piece of, you might be Saudi Arabian. If you have three five-year-olds and they're not triplets, you might be Mexican. <laughs> or black. Or Persian. Uh, same thing, black. You know, I was wondering, what the hell is it with the tattoos on black guys? What's the point? <laughs> it's like a Persian girl with a tattoo on her back. If the law changes in this country and you become the president of the United States and in front row the parents are sitting and American friends say to your parents, Congratulations, your son now is the President of the United States. And your mother opens her mouth and says, Oh, you should see his brothers. One is a doctor, the other one is an engineer. <laughs> you might be Persian. That was my set. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great evening. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Peter. No music for the belly dancer? <laughs> First of all, I reject the possibility that I could weigh as much as him. 